Hi. Welcome to Cult Films. Where? Horror lies ahead. The movie begins with On Hell, a priest and professor of theology in a monastery. He confesses to another priest that he intends to commit as much evil as he can. He whispers about his discovery and the priest agrees with him offers his help. He warns that the enemy is powerful. As the priest leaves, the enormous cross of the church falls on top of the priest crushing him instantly. Angel travels to Madrid decided on committing as much evil, and behave in the most sinful ways possible. He takes money from a homeless man, pushes a street mime downstairs, and steals the wallet from a dying police officer as he tells him to rot in hell. He goes in search of evil music, so he enters a heavy metal record store, and then meets Joseph, the owner. Angel shows him a piece of paper containing the name of different heavy metal bands. As he browses the different metal records he tells Joseph that he is a priest and that he is looking for a message in the music. So he shows him a local band Satanica whom he considers the most evil, and gives him the tape as a present. Joseph tells the priest that he can stay in his mother boarding house, that she will rent him a room. He then arrives at the house where Mina, a woman who also helps the family around the house, she greets him in and shows him the room where he rests his luggage and then he starts to burn his feet with cigarettes. The next day Angel in his sinful quest, attempt to steal a book from a bookstore, the book is from a TV occultist guru, who Angel thinks can help him to invoke the devil. He is caught and taken to the administrator, he explains to him that he is a priest and had discovered the day of the apocalypse happening that same night. That he needs to get in contact with Satan so that's why he steals. The administrator doesn't believe him so he knocks him out with an iron and escapes with the book as he scratches the cars in the parking lot with a key. He then halves lunch with Joseph, and asks him if he is a Satanist which he replies yes. He tells him that he needs to invoke Satan and that he needs his help. He explains that the Antichrist is going to be born that night and needs to talk with the devil to find out where. Joseph accepts to help him. Then we see Professor Cavan in his show, showing a kid who had been possessed by the devil and Cavan performing an exorcism. This calls the attention of Angel and Joseph who follow Professor Cavan out of the TV building. They follow him to his house. Angel rings and tries to explain to him about his recent discovering. Cavan doesn't want to pay attention to him so he knocks him out. Cavan wakes up tied up and all bloodied up and Angel explains to him why he needs his help. Joseph arrives to Kavan's apartment, and Angel starts to beat him with Cain until he accepts to help them. Kavan tries to guide them on how to do the ritual. He says that they need a golden cup four blessed circles, psychotropics and the blood of a virgin. The door rings, it's Susanna Kavan's girlfriend. As Angel opens the door Kavan yells her to run away. The priest follows her and she trips and falls downstairs. He drags her back up into the apartment. Joseph tans a knife to the priest. Kavan yells that she is not a virgin that her blood is of no use to them. So Angel grabs a knife, and goes on the hunt for the blood of a virgin. He goes to Joseph's house, and as they take a cup of coffee, he asks her if she is a virgin. She answers that she indeed is a virgin and she will be until marriage. So Angel puts sleeping drugs in her coffee. He gets very nervous and tells her that he needs her blood for a ritual. The drugs take effect and she drops unconscious to the ground. As he drags her to his room, the mother notices and grabs a shotgun while the priest collects Mina's blood. Then proceeds to the priest's bedroom and blasts the door open. The priest hides under the bed as she shoots. She blasts one of his ears off. He then tries to escape. They struggle and she throws him down the stairs. As she approaches him, he kicks her in the face making her fall several stories and dying instantly. Angel, badly hurt escapes with some of Mina's blood. Joseph carves a ritual circle in the floor as Kevin guides him. Now they have the necessary ingredients to perform the ritual. They get into the circle and start the ritual. Angel starts to read his contract to the devil, and signs it with his blood. Nothing seems to happen, and as they wait, suddenly a goat appears into the room. It approaches them and Angel steps out of the circle to get in contact with it. They see the burnt remains off the contract and it spells this is not a game. Something bangs loudly on the door, and they decide to escape out of the window. Kevin falls down and lands on Neon's sign, saving his life. Joseph and Angel continue their way as the police storms Kavan's apartment looking for them. Kevin goes to the TV studio planning to go live and reach Angel and Joseph again. As he signs a book for a fan he notices that Satan's signature reveals the location of the Antichrist birth. Joseph tells Angel to wait for him in the bus stop as he goes to find a ride. Angel witness when a street gang of social cleansing beat up and light gasoline on a homeless man. The burning man approaches the priest who helps him put off the fire. The man has a shirt of Satanica, the local metal band which happens to be performing that same night. He goes to Satanica's concert and rips a devil's pendant off a pregnant woman. Getting him in trouble, he starts getting kicked and beaten down in the floor. Then they drag him into the bathroom and toss him against the toilet breaking it and leaving him badly hurt. Joseph arrives at the concert and helps the father out to the street where there is a TV. Kevin is live on the show, they get in contact with him, he explains that he knows the location and agree to meet. 
He picks them up in the car and drives them to the places he thinks the Antichrist is born. He explains that it must be a building resembling two vertical leaning lines, and shows the priest the building behind him it is the representation of the Temple of Satan. They find their way into the building grounds. Inside they hear a baby cry under some cardboard pieces alongside a black goat. It seems the Antichrist was just born. They are ambushed by the social cleansing gang, they attack Kevin with a bat and shoot at Angel and Joseph. They run away and go up in the elevator to the last floor. One of the goons shoots the cardboards to where the baby was screaming. Meanwhile the others chase our heroes up the stairs. The priest hides in a construction beam. While Joseph stands to the goons with a bat, he gets shot in the leg and beaten on the floor. Angel peeks out to look and sees Satan himself, who gazes back. Satan then grabs Joseph and holds him high, while the priest grabs a gun or runs back down. Satan drops Joseph down to the street, killing him. Kevin is seriously injured on the floor, then the goons pour gasoline on him. Angel shoots them dead while they light the fire. He then rushes to him and helps him put out the fire. Angel then checks beneath the cardboards and sees the baby Antichrist along with his parents shot dead. He kills one last goon. A new Professor Kevin is shown presenting a show. Kevin is then shown with the priest homeless sitting on a bench talking on how good would it be that everyone knew they saved the world. Trivia the priest in the record store checks out a disc for Mortification, a Catholic metal band. Santiago Segura, who plays hardcore metalhead Jose Maria claims not to be interested at all in heavy metal. Instead, he prefers Frank Sinatra. The last shot of the fountain statue is the only public tribute to Satan in the world, with the statue depicting the fallen angel. Oddly enough, the statue is 666 meters above the sea level. 666 is considered the number of the beast, referring to Satan. We can also see this fountain in the movie Satan's Blood. The building we see at the end that represented the Antichrist Temple is actually the Doors of Europe a business building in Madrid. Comments. Second film from Alex de la Iglesia, The Day of the Beast is truly a cult film wonder. The film is a dark comedy and takes you through the day of the disaster as told by three different people. Angel the Sinful Priest, Joseph the Satanic Metalhead, and Kevin the Occultist Guru. The story follows the three of them as they try to find the place where the Antichrist will be born. Their character development is very well achieved, in a mixture between drama, suspense and dark comedy manages to provide an overall fun story. The visual effects are great, the depiction of the goat, and of Satan is very well done and manages to produce horror. Despite the light comedy and somewhat funny premise, there is also a large amount of symbolism in this movie that could have a deeper analysis. We enjoyed this movie for the dark comedy and interesting plot. The scene of the concert is very cool as it depicts the Madrid metal how it was in the 90s and the prime of extreme metal music. Any heavy metal fan should see this film. But tell us in the comments, had you seen this film before? Thanks for watching. Please subscribe. Watch out and take care.